This is problem number two for section 310. In this problem it says the original, the original 24 meter edge length x of a cube decreases at the rate of two meters per minute. When x equals three meters, at what rate does the cube's surface area change? And then part b, when x equals three meters, at what rate does the cube's volume change? So in this problem they're going to, they're talking about a cube. We know a cube's got the same side lengths. This is a terrible looking cube, but we're going to go with it. It's got the same side length, so we've got a width, we've got a height, and we've got a length. All three of these are the same, same x value. So they ask us for the cube surface area and the cube's volume, so we should probably write the equations for that. So we know volume is going to be length times width times height, which is just going to be x cubed. And the surface area, I'll just say A uh, subscript F, S, surface area, is going to be, well, if I take one side, x times x is one side, and then I have to take that times 6. So x times x is x squared, and then take it times 6, so this is 6x squared for the surface area. They give us that the, uh, let's see, the original 24 meter edge length x of a cube decrease at a rate of two meters per minute. So two meters per minute is decreasing, and that's the edge length. So we're gonna say that uh, dx over dt is equal to two meters per minute. So this is decreasing, and actually I'm gonna say negative two meters because it's decreasing uh, two meters per minute says, when x equals 3, at what rate does the cube's surface area change? So they're looking for the d, uh, basically dA over dt. So we're going to take the derivative of this uh, function, this surface area function. So we're taking the derivative of as equals 6x squared. And we're doing it with respect to time because we want to know the rate it's changing versus time. So because neither of these variables are t variables, we're going to end up using implicit differentiation. So we're going to end up with 1, when we take the derivative of as, that's just 1, das over dt is equal to, derivative of this will be 12x, and this will be dx over dt. And then we're looking for this, so this is das over dt is equal to, and we're doing that for an x value of 3, so we want this when x equals 3, and we know our rate of change is dx over dt is negative 2 meters per minute, so we're going to say that this is 12 times 3 meters times negative 2, this will be meters per minute, and when you multiply that, see 12 times 3 is going to be 36, 36 times 2, 72. So we get negative 72 meters squared per minute. So the surface area is dropping 72 meters squared per minute. That's the area that's dropping. Now let's find the volume piece because they ask in part B to find the cube's volume change. So we're going to say that d over dt of this equation is going to be dv over dt equals, and the derivative of this will be 3x squared dx over dt. Now remember, this is uh, still implicit differenti uh, differentiation. Now we're still plugging in 3 for x, and we still need to plug in the rate that this x value is decreasing. So we end up with dv over dt equals, we'll plug in 3, we got 3 squared there, and we'll plug in negative 2 meters per minute. And let's see, 3, that's 3, really 3 cubed, which is 27, times negative 2, which is negative 54 meters per minute. Actually, I meant this should be a meters, so it's meters squared, this is meters cubed because it's a volume. 
So this thing is re reducing its volume by negative 54 meters cubed per minute. It's reducing its surface area by negative 72 meters squared per minute.